Hey, what is going on, everybody? It's Youngs. Today, we're going to be doing something a little bit different than the usual. We're going to be talking a lot about sidearms in this video, specifically if they are viable, what kind of place are they in, and what are the best uses for them. Now, before we get into it, I do just want to say, remember, this is just all my personal opinion and how I feel on sidearms. So, I think we're ready to go. Let's get right into the video. So, if you are running a sidearm, you do have to factor in that you are missing out on a shotgun, sniper rifle, or fusion rifle. And this is not including No Land Beyond or Universal Remote right now. We will eventually get into that a little later on in the video. But as of right now, let's focus on the special slot itself. So you do not have that instant kill potential as you would with a sniper rifle or shotgun while running a sidearm. Now this is a negative thing, but of course, just because they're not insta-kill doesn't mean they can't be useful. The time to kill is still actually very good on sidearms if you could land some headshots. The one you are seeing in the gameplay is capable of foreshotting your enemy and has a time to kill of 0.6 seconds. It's very, very quick, just about half a second. So you could definitely put your enemies down quickly, maybe not instantly, but certainly quickly. Now, what situations are best for sidearms? Well, you're gonna wanna stick to that close to close medium range. When I say close medium range, I mean more like fusion rifle range. And when I say close range, I don't mean shotgun close, but you know, just slightly beyond that. So positioning is basically everything when it comes to using a sidearm efficiently. They are great for countering shotguns, but that is only if you are fully aware of your surroundings and what's going on around you and if you are anticipating the enemy team. If you are aware that the whole enemy team is pretty much running shotguns and they are playing fairly aggressive with them, then you just have to outplay them, you have to outsmart them. You have to be aware that they are going to try to close the gap on you and you just have to keep that space. Manipulate them to come down a open hallway or something similar where they can't insta-kill you with their shotgun and they are going to have to move up on you while being totally exposed. So by the time they do get to you, they will already be dead by your sidearm. Just keep in mind that the enemy may blink. They may shade step, they may use Twilight Garrison, they may Titan Skate. You know, there's a lot of things that you have to be wary of, but you can totally counter shotguns with your sidearm. Also, you do spawn with sidearm ammo every time you die, which is very, very nice, and you won't worry as much about special ammo. And since sidearms are close range weapons, I would always recommend a pulse rifle or a scout rifle as your primary. Of course, you could still run hand cannons and auto rifles, but you won't have as much range variety. Now let's get into those exotic primaries like Universal Remote and No Land Beyond. If you do want to run Universal with the sidearm, you are going to have a very aggressive combination of weapons. Now I actually never tried this before, but it sounds like it could be very, very fun. Maybe not the best choice for the competitive scene, but certainly sounds fun. You are just going to want to stay out of those open areas while using this combination. Now let's talk a little bit about No Land Beyond and the sidearm. Now this is actually a very popular combination. Now unlike the universal sidearm combo, No Land Beyond will give you some wide range coverage and like universal combo, you will have insta-kill potential coming from those headshots with No Land. And also, you do not have to be dramatically close to your enemy in order to kill them now that you have your sidearm to your disposal. So you could pretty much cover every single range as long as you could handle No Land Beyond at those closer ranges. Maybe get a body shot off at a close range and finish them off with the sidearm and have fun with that combination. It is certainly unique compared to everything we have right now in the game, which makes it very, very special. Of course, Rise of Iron will be coming out soon, and who knows, we may have some different options there when it comes to primaries and specials with sidearms. Hopefully, I would love to see a primary sidearm. I think that would be really, really cool, but let's get back on topic. So sidearms may take a little time and a little practice to get used to, 
are they viable yes they can be viable of course depending on how you play with them not for everybody will they be viable but they can be useful in the right situations that is for sure are they always going to be the best for every situation definitely not shotguns and snipers are just too powerful of weapons right now in the game and i would be very very shocked to see if sidearms overcome them in the meta one day very shocked. I just feel like they're in a very weird place right now, and that is really why I decided to make this video. Also, they did just get a buff in patch 2.4.0. They got some increase in damage for the Hack A sidearms. They got some minor extensions for damage fall off points, and they also got some minor stability increases, which is very, very nice. But is it going to make a significant change and increase the number of people that use sidearms? I don't think so do not really see it happening but i guess we will find out and see so do i use sidearms well not really i will use them once in a while for my videos and just for some fun but when it comes down to it i much rather prefer the rush of engaging somebody with a shotgun the satisfaction of a sniper headshot and also the satisfaction of blowing away somebody with a fusion rifle that's just me though so I do want to hear your guys' opinions. Please leave in the comments. Let me know what you think about sidearms. Like I said, I do believe they have potential and they can be viable in the right situations. They are just in a very weird place. At least that's how I feel. Also, the Trespasser. That looks like a cool exotic sidearm. Can't wait to get my hands on that. I think that's pretty much going to wrap this one up, guys. I, I, I just thought I'd throw that in there with the Trespasser because, yeah. I can't just make a sidearm video and not mention the brand new exotic sidearm, the Trespasser. Go ahead, leave in the comments, and let me know what you think about that one, too. That's pretty much going to be it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Please leave a like on the video if you enjoyed the video, and go ahead and leave a sub if you haven't already if you want to see more videos similar to this one. I'm always covering videos here in Destiny. Anyway, guys, I will see you next time.